Hi all. Let's do a open box video on this router. I'm setting it up for my neighbor. So this will probably be a series of videos. Uh, it's not a real expensive router, but uh, it's got some pretty advanced features built in. So I watched a few videos on it and it looks really cool. So it might be something worth looking into if you're looking for a new router. Okay, so it's made by TP-Link. TP-Link is the name of the company. They're a pretty big company. They've got all kind of gadgets out. 120 megabytes per second wireless speed. 2.4 gigahertz. 300 megabytes per second. And 5 gigahertz. 867 megabytes per second. So here they're saying uh, 5 gigahertz for gaming. And high definition streaming. And large file downloads. So what they're doing here is they're giving you the choice of a lower speed and a higher speed. We'll talk more about that later. Maximum range. Uh, two external antennas, that's these guys here, for a stable wireless connections and optimal coverage. I think what happens if one cuts out, the other one takes over. So it's nice to buy a router with two antennas. And this maximum range stuff, one video I watched there's a feature you can go inside and cut the range down. You know, instead of a maximum range, you have a minimum range. You know, you may not want the kids two blocks away logging into your router, so you can turn it into a minimum range. So that's a cool feature. USB port. There's a plug on the back to plug a USB cable in. You can connect your printer. You can connect your printer to the router and then multiple computers in the house can use the same printer. So that's a really cool feature on a low priced router. So that's what they mean by here. Uh, for storage and printer sharing. You share the same printer to multiple computers throughout your house or business. FTP server and media server. So I guess what they're saying there is you could have like a thumb drive plugged into the back of the router and put like Word files on it and multiple computers through the house could access that thumb drive through the router because it's the FTP server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and same for videos. You could put videos or songs on that thumb drive and plug it into the back. So that's a that's a really cool feature for a low priced router. I know the router I have it's 250 bucks new and I can't even do that on mine. So Okay, so this is the actual model number here, AC1200. It's wireless, or you can plug computers into the back. Dual band router. I think the dual band is the lower speed or the higher speed. That's what they mean by dual band. So here they're saying... Uh, You can go slower or you can go faster. Dual band, slower or faster. Guest network, like your main home network would be just for your home, but you can also open it up to guests, 
like if you have friends or relatives that come over, you can have them log into the guest network without having to give them a username or password. Usually you turn off the guest network and we'll get more into that later on how you actually go in and turn these features off and on. Parental controls you can actually go in set up parental controls you can block websites and things like that if you don't want your kids going to certain websites. TP-Link Tether app. So I don't know what that is yet. We're just opening the box here. Here's the model. Archer C50. Up here it says unlimited technical support. 24 hours, 7 days a week. They can do that because it's a worldwide company so they're just always open toll free 866-225-8139 866-225-8139 email address is uh, support dot usa at tp dash link dot com Okay, so back of the box, basically the same stuff. They go through all the uh, features. We'll look at that in a bit. Let's go ahead and open the box and check it out. Okay, so... Uh, GNU General Public License Notice. So this GNU stuff, that's just like something for the internet. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Here's a small pamphlet for technical support. It just gives all the telephone numbers for tech support for around the world. Uh, here's your quick start manual. These are usually pretty good. Lots of times they're just pictures. At least this one's got some writing on it. Okay, here's the router. So it's not very big. You know, it's only about the size of my hand. Here's the two antennas. Down here on the bottom, it's got the SSID, TP-Link 3BB1. So that's what you would see on your computer. That would be the name of the network. So there's two of them here. You can always go in and change that to like your name or something else. Here's the model. C50 US version 2 serial number MAC address. You might have to call your internet people and give them that MAC address in order for this to work. First you plug it in and then you call like Time Warner or Spectrum or whoever you get your internet through and they usually want the MAC address. The MAC address is the address of the router that's burned onto the hardware. And that usually can't be changed. It's actually written on the computer chips inside here. Wireless password. They give a string of numbers here. That's just the default you should go in and change it to another password so and we'll get into that as we plug this thing in and uh, 
and see how it works. <coughs> okay, so it's got a bunch of plugs here. Plug your internet cord here, and then these four go to different computers. What, like, like uh, this would be your computer, this would be your father's computer, this would be your mother's computer, this would be your sister's, you know. You can plug your printer into the USB port, or you can put a thumb drive in there and share Word files and stuff like that. This is just a power button. That's where you plug in the power. Okay, so these two buttons here, the top button is Wi-Fi. So that must be that must be a fast way to turn off and on Wi-Fi. See, while Wi-Fi is on, you can usually see it doing something on the front. There's, it's kind of hard to see now, but when you plug this in, there, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of designs here, and it'll tell you what it's doing. Sometimes, if if you think you're being hacked, it's nice to be able to just come over and hit the button and turn the Wi-Fi off. So that must be what they're doing there I'm not really sure yet right we haven't got into the manual and then this button down there that's like a security thing and then this one down here that's a WPS button okay shut up and show us how it works <laughs> okay so here's the power plug it looks like a pretty long cord. Maybe only about four feet. Uh, make sure you plug it into a surge protector. Not just a power strip. Because a power strip won't protect it. If you get struck by lightning or something, you need a surge protector to protect your electronic devices. Sounds kind of silly, but uh, my sister actually fried her her first computer. That they said it was caused by a, a lightning storm. Okay, so here's the uh, power plug. You just plug that in there. Uh, that one fit pretty tight, so it probably won't fall out. But what I usually do is wrap some black tape around there and then stick it on the bottom or the top so these can't just fall out. So that one feels pretty good.